And that, in a nutshell, is criminal psychology. So, after all that, who thinks this sounds boring? Really? Well, as criminal psychologists, we're on the ground floor. I mean, sure, detectives and lawyers and scientists, well, I mean, pretty much everyone gets more credit than us. But we're the ones who get to decide whether a suspect stands trial or walks free, or whether or not a witness's testimony is taken as fact or as fiction. It's pretty neat, huh? Wow, tough crowd. OK, well, how about murder? You like that stuff. That's exciting, right? Well, basically, using our minds, we can help determine whether someone is innocent or guilty. What if you're wrong? Good question from the girl I have never met. Look, we're always working to adopt a greater understanding of the human mind. And that said, it's not an exact science. So, really, the best we can do is strive to minimize the possibility of being wrong. OK, well, that about does it for me. There's pamphlets at the front if you have any more questions. OK, wake up, people. Let's show our thanks to Dr. Carter for taking the time to come speak to us today. That's, that's like a little series around here. You really got through to them. Well, high school students are not known for their attention spans, so I'll take it. You're the psychologist. You know, I'd, I wish you'd at least let me get the groceries. I'm supposed to try to be more independent, remember? No, but that doesn't mean I still can't help. If I can't even pick up a few groceries, how am I supposed to stop a mugger or a boy with poor manners? With your keen intellect. Then hopefully I'm adopted. Oh, very funny. Very funny. do it sometime. Like Pacino in Son of a Woman. Never seen it. Me neither. Look, it's okay. I know you have to work. I just want it on the record. If you need anything, I'm just a phone call away. Consider it recorded. Well, I need anything at all. When we run out of booze and weed, you'll be the first to know. Just promise me. <sighs> I promise. Looks like your friends are here. Toby's still driving that piece of shit. Sloan! Hey, Mika. I missed you so much. Squeeze any harder and I'll go blind. Shut up. <laughs> I can hear you chewing, Toby. Hi, Sloan. Creepy place you got here, Dr. C. You ever think of renovating? Toby, help yourself to anything. You find your room, okay? Uh, no, not yet. Go on upstairs, I'll be up in a sec. Okay. I'm so excited to see you. Ready? Wanna get these bags? Yep. How does she seem to you? I don't know. I don't have slow and sensory perception like you. She seems kinda distant. It's a lonely life up here. 
Yeah, I don't doubt that, but I don't think it's it. You know, maybe we don't talk enough. If you called her anymore, you'd be flagged by the NSA. What does that even mean? I don't know. It's topical. Well, this is weird. What? This is the first time Dr. Carter has let us stay in the same room at the same time. I just think it's ironic timing. Now that you mention it, thank you for mentioning it. Tell me you weren't smoking out there. No problem. How many of us? It's a weekend, Dad. I know. Tom should be here around seven. Can't wait. Dad. Okay. Okay, going. Don't worry, Mr. Carter. She's in good hands. Everyone crying right now. <laughs> so what now? Let's go for a walk. I was thinking sitting. Oh come on, it's been forever. Let's go tour the Carter Estate. This is so beautiful. Yeah, during the day. Yeah, we all know you shit yourself when the sun goes down. Hey, I haven't shit my pants in nearly three years. Thank you very much. I walk down here a lot. Wasn't it hard to get around? Shut up, Toby. Hey, what'd I do? I mean, I've been coming down here since I was a kid. Dad's not really too big on changing it. Watch your head. Thanks. So, give me some dirt. Uh, school, school, class, library, repeat. Nothing too exciting to report. I've seen movies, dude. The whole world is using kid gloves on me. Can you guys give me a break? I just wish you were there is all. You know the feeling. We'll get there. I know. Well, for now, it's just me and my forest. <laughs> A burial ground of some sort? Just a forest, man. This is where farmers go to die. Let's check out the cabin. It's getting kind of dark, isn't it? What are you waiting for? What's your dad doing here? Hide out, I guess. Just the music, read books. God, I hope I stay young. Too late. So who's this guy that's coming here tonight? Uh, Tom. He's a student of my dad's. Isn't that kind of weird that he's staying when your dad's not here? I don't know. He's just passing through. My dad likes him. Well, maybe he'll be cute. Maybe. <laughs> maybe he'll be horrifying looking. Maybe he'd be into that. Maybe fuck you. Sure to let me know either way, Toby. Thank you. 
She's gonna find out eventually. Sloan's got enough on her plate. Well, she doesn't need you to mother her. What she needs is just a fun weekend with us. So should we make animalistic lovemaking sounds tonight? Is that part of the charade? Well, can we just get through this weekend and figure our stuff out after? So who's taking the floor? Are you kidding? I don't know how Chris, Martin, and Gwyneth do it. Do what? You know, stay consciously uncoupled. Wait for the kids. Uh, apple. You guys underestimate me. I believe in you. I really think I can help with this run Didn't I ace shop class? In grade nine. The record stands. What did you make again? A lamp. It looked like a dick. It was erotic, yes. Some would call it avant-garde. What's avant-garde mean? It's French. It means really good. He's a good listener. Must be our guest. You want backup? I got it. Hi, are you Sloan? Hey, Tom. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Tom. My dad told me you're coming. Come on in. And thank you. I appreciate it. Everyone, meet Tom. Oh. Hi, I'm Mika. Mika, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm Tom. Toby, would you walk in your car? Uh, no, I hitched you right from the bus stop. They dropped me at the laneway. Well, we could have picked you up. No, I didn't want to be in more trouble than I need to be. OK, uh, look, guys, I'm not going to get in your way. Okay, I'm here tonight. I'm gone first thing tomorrow morning, I promise. No, you're right on time. We're about to make dinner. I, I don't mind grabbing some takeout. Oh, nobody delivers this far. You can forage. My dad would have a shit if he found out we didn't feed you. And he takes weird shits. Can I help with something? No, we got it. Go on upstairs. First door on the right. All right. Want me to show you? I think I can manage. Thanks. Yeah, he's all right. Seems kind of square though, right? Tom? Yeah, hey, I'm just looking at your old family photos. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> you were, you are a cute kid. My dad has trained you well. Well, he's had a big impact on my life. More than I can tell you. Glad you're a fan. <laughs> I'm serious. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't be here. He likes to say that the job is the reward. <laughs> I don't doubt that. He never mentioned your condition. It's true. I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if I'm overstepping. It's fine. 
He's overprotective. When he found out he had to work this weekend, it was like he was leaving a toddler. Can I ask what happened? Sure. What happened? Got rid of the cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's how you guys met? Yes. Some bully was trying to mess with us in grade four, and Toby over here was our savior. Except <laughs> to get the shit kicked out of him. Hey, I got a few good shots in. You called one of them lima beans. Yeah, and I hated lima beans, so that was cruel. <laughs> so wait, how long have you two been together? Three years. Wow. And you, Sloan, seeing anyone? Not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you know Sloan's dad? The great Dr. Carter. Uh, I actually studied under him for my master's, but he was kind enough to let me help him out with a couple cases. Cool. Anything creepy we would have heard of? You've probably heard of Laura Jones. No shit, you heard of the Jones case? Who's that? The baby butcher? She was like this housewife that went nuts one day, had a couple of kids, gruesome shit. She was like just a mom. <sighs> you worked on that? Yeah, just a little bit of help, mostly file paperwork and stuff, but uh, it was a big one. Learned a lot. Well, thank you for keeping our streets safe from crazy housewives. My pleasure, but again, it was mostly just behind the scenes stuff. We should probably get going. We're headed to a party if you'd like to come. Uh, full disclosure, it's full of locals. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I should really stop intruding on you guys. You go ahead, I'll stay here and clean up. Okay, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> you puke. Smile. Hey, man. I don't know what's taking them so long. You're not gonna freshen up? Oh, hell no, man. Oh, natural for the toaster. Good for, for me. Yeah. Come on. So tell me about yourself. What are you, uh, what are you studying? Political science. Political science. Wow. Uh, Where's that gonna take you? I don't know. Political scientist. <laughs> so you must have spent a lot of time here growing up. Sure did. Are you close with Sloan's dad? Of the doc? Hell yeah, man. I'm like his second son. I thought Sloan was an only child. Right. I mean, if, if he had another son. Right. Yeah. It's weird. Being here, you know, like someone can have such a big impact on your life, but you don't really know who they are until you set foot in their house. Can I ask you a question about the Jones case? <laughs> yeah, fire away. Why do you think she did it? What makes you so sure she did it? Shut up. I'm just saying. I don't know, it, it, they, they had educated guesses. That's what they had, but with the hysteria of the media, the, I don't know, it seemed like the pitchforks were out. Hey, food for thought. I bet you meet a lot of kooks in your line of work. There's some funny people out there. I hear you, man. Tinder, am I right? Uh, don't wake at me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just that? It's, it's chilly. Great deal in my skirt. It's not so bad. Yeah, you got a red jean jacket all year long. Climatize that way. Okay. I'll take the back. Same. Are you shitting me? I'm gonna have to get in the other side. Right, let me do it. All right. I'm like a goddamn Uber driver. <laughs> Oh! 
Sick man, Mika. We can agree on one thing. You are sick. I'm gonna go find Slum. I'm gonna wrestle up some rich money.
Guys, why is the door open? That's weird. What is that? What? This red stuff. Looks like blood. Greg probably hit the window, it happens. Where's the bird then? I don't understand the country. Anyways, where's our hero? Tom? <laughs> How's the, uh, how's the party? Fun. Yeah, sure, bro. Uh, yeah, I was just about to take a shower. Uh, but that can wait if anybody feels like a nightcap. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'm not really a lime guy. I think I'm tipsy. Actually, they have alcohol poisoning. Sure thing. So what are you making next? Incarcerations. Incarcerations. Okay, and why do you call them that? I do not have a good answer for that, actually. All right. Two incarcerations coming right up. Okay, that's not how you're supposed to shake it. Yes, it is. I saw a YouTube video. Toby, where's your phone? Dad, sorry. I just, I stop. That's how you do it. <laughs> Up top? That's amazing. That's some ridiculous French way that I don't even... Toby, what's wrong, man? <laughs> These two seem to be getting along fine. <laughs> okay. Don't be jealous. So there's something I gotta tell you about Mika and I. You're pregnant. No, I... You know, you can always talk to me, Toby. We're just... going through a rough patch. More like an expanse of land than a patch. I thought something was up. Yeah? Yeah, blindness gives you ESP. Look, you guys just... Seem off. Well, I am naturally uptight. You guys gotta tell me this shit, man. Yeah. But I've been spending more time watching breakfast television than I have with my professors, so if you wanna talk. You know, I don't even know if I wanna go to school. Yeah, join the club. And now. More booze? Pronto. My dad keeps some in the garage. I'll be right back. What I'm saying is that you work enough cases and eventually you get, I don't want to say desensitized, but you distance yourself. It doesn't affect people in my profession, or at least no one I'm familiar with. I don't get it. Sounds like a lot of pressure. You would think so. I don't know. Stuff happens in life. Eventually you adapt. You have to. Is that that whole lemons and lemonade crap? <sighs> yeah, not necessarily lemonade, but... Something. Lemonade's the only thing I can make from lemons. 
Arnold Palmer's. You're talking about making the best of a tough situation. Yeah. Why not? It's a good notion, but it's easier said than done. True. Well, take Dr. Carter, for instance. Does he bring his job home with him? If you mean mowing his lawn twice a day, then yep. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm gonna go check on the grass. Lemon water. You guys are best friends. She's our girl, yeah. And you look out for her. We try to. As best as we can, yeah. Body up there. A body. Okay, thanks. Cops are on their way. They said we should sit tight. Okay. Is that door locked? I don't know. So what? We just stay here? No, I said we get away from that guy quick. He's out. There's a guy hanging. There's blood on the deck. And the fucking door's open. He was the only one here. No, no, we're staying here. Sloan, tell him. I don't know. Okay, doors are locked. You guys okay? I'm gonna check upstairs. Oh, no, 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 I, I got it. You sure? Mostly. You never know. Thanks.
I'm gonna check the windows. Be careful. I felt it. I'm sorry. Is it my dad? Oh God, no, no, Sloan. We don't know that person. I had a feeling it wasn't, but. No, oh, he's fine. You're fine. We're all fine. Should we cut it down? It's a fucked up way to go. Oh no, I hear you and you're right, but we can't go out there. We don't know what's there. Okay, do you hear me? We're staying here. Tell me. <laughs> Girls are worried. Yeah, yeah, all good. Uh, nobody up here. Good. See downstairs. Everything's okay up here. It's clear. You guys, where are the cops, huh? We're in the middle of nowhere. The sheriff's probably drunk. Okay, am I the only one who thinks that we should get the hell out of here? Toby, we don't know what's out there. We know there's a flush pinata hanging around. Well, you want to be strung up beside it? Nick is right. We should stay put. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? We may not have time to stop whatever's happening out there. We may not be able to defend ourselves. Why not? Well, no offense, but we're two liberal arts majors, a friggin' psychologist assistant, and a... Blind girl. <sighs> if I can get to the car, we can get the fuck out of here and let the cops clean up whatever this is. Toby, please. Look, I can do this. I want to do this. Okay. Yeah, I'll watch out the window. As soon as you get the car started, I'll bring it around. Thanks. Just hang around. I don't know, sorry. someone out there. Who? Some woman, psycho. She was chasing me and then she vanished. I saw her too. Ah, fuck. Oh, God, it hurts. God. Oh, God, it hurts. Ah. I think these are painkillers. Oh, please tell me it's all the strength. I don't know. My dad uses it for work. He needs to lie down. His leg is bad. Easy, easy, easy. Take it serious, okay? You got him. I got him, Mika. Go ahead. Call David Carter. You've reached Dr. Carter. I'm unable to take your calls. The message has been sent. 
Dad, we're in trouble. Call me back, please. That's so nice. Like a little cloud. I'll be fine though. Send an ambulance. Can you think of any reason why someone would want to hurt you? I don't know. I need you some tea. Thanks. The cops should be here any second. It's taking so long. I, I don't know. I, I just... Do you want to call your dad? I tried. We're gonna make it through this. Do you remember that time I went skiing and hit my head? You held me down. You said I was gonna be okay. That I might have a big head, but that I was gonna be okay. gonna be fine. here and do nothing. I understand. And when I was younger, I had something bad happen to me. And then I didn't think that there was anything I could do about it. What did you do? Found a way. I kept fighting. Here, 
pressure. Hey, keep your hand there. Your dad, I'd take care of you. Okay, you don't have to. Where's the front door? I'll get it. No. Don't. Just let me go. I want you to know, I think you do a really good job renovating this place. That's what I'm saying. I'm really good with a hammer. Tom? Do that. It's too much fun. Who do you want 
want from us? I'm not complicated. <laughs> you got two options, kiddo. Either you come here, or I go back in there, and I carve your friend's eyes out. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, honey. Come here, honey. much makeup. Um, she had an accident. You should really see it. <laughs> this would be more fun if your eyes worked. I'm very beautiful, by the way. Big tits. What is your world like? Hmm? Is it scary? Is it... Where's Mika? Listen to me. We gotta get out of here. Uh, that'd be nice. I think I'm hurt really bad. Here. Just call you Bill.
Who are you? I'm Tom. Probably not Tom. I'm not Tom. Oh, Tom's probably hanging around somewhere. Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm sorry that you had to see me do that, hear me do that. It has been very hard to stay politically correct with all this business going on. Can I just say that? I'm talking about your glasses, by the way. I just, I really wish that she would have finished the job by now. I thought she would. It's tough to find good help nowadays. Affirmative action, right? You know, all night, it has taken every ounce of self-restraint that I possess to keep from calling you Stevie Wonder. You have very pretty eyes, Sloan. Someone will be here soon. Yeah, I think that we should start over, you and me. I'm Bill. I don't know my dad. Yes and no. I've never actually formally met the guy, only in the flesh, so to speak, but I, uh, I know of him. I know of him very fucking well. I wasn't lying before, your dad. He's very good at what he does. <laughs> you killed my friend. <laughs> I, I got you on a technicality there because I, I, didn't, I didn't kill your friends, you know, she. Okay, I killed Toby. That's one. You got me. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Just... Uh, just... Relax. We're just talking. We're just talking. What do you want? Your mom, she's dead, right? Mine is too. I mean, not technically, but she might as well be. See, she's gone away. And your dad was the one who booked her plane up the river. Her boat. Is it down the river? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Laura Jones. Or is your dead friend Toby here so crassly referred to her as the baby butcher? That's my mom. She was a murderer. No fucking proof! There was no fucking proof! My mother was railroaded by a corrupt system. Looking for anyone to take the fall. They pick out the nearest piece of trash and presto. It's case closed. And your dad. The fucking lap dog. His bullshit evaluation tipped the scales. How could you not? How could he? These actions have consequences, Sloan. And we've all got to feel them. Maybe she was a psycho, just like you. Oh. <laughs>
You don't talk about my mother. You don't know my mother. <laughs> You won't find my dad. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm anything if not resourceful. But there's one thing. Before I bow out, I want you to tell me how you lost your sight. Let me go if I tell you. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Watch too much television. Cross my eyes too much. Took a look at your ugly face one day and it was like... <gasps> I'm not gonna give you what you want. I'm not scared of you, Mama's boy. You should be. You should be. You wanna keep blaming everyone else for your problems? You and your crazy bitch mom can go fuck me! How was the family reunion? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. I really wish we could have had this place to ourselves.
kill you, but that doesn't mean that I want to hurt you, so just put, just put the hammer down.
picture of my face, motherfucker. Stop! Thank you.